Hi everyone, in this video I show you how to use Dota MIDI with FL Studio. Now I'm using Dota MIDI, the, the new version of Dota MIDI, Dota MIDI 2.1 and it has a way to send a MIDI which can be used to connect it uh, pretty much in uh, every DAW. But in FL Studio it doesn't work very well, so there's another way. Are we going to use a Cush View element? It's another plugin. So, first there is this audio, uh, which is just me singing for this demonstration. All right, now I connected it to the first uh, track and uh, we're going to add a uh, KV element effects, Cush view element. Okay, we have audio in and audio out and we just need to connect all the models. Let's add Dota MIDI. Dota bird, Dota MIDI. Connect the audio in. Now let's add the synth, which is uh, the wave warden out into connect the MIDI. Then we're going to connect the second instance of Dota MIDI, which is responsible for the volume control. And connect the second instance of Dota MIDI to the audio out. Now we're gonna need to do some configuration. In the second instance of Dota MIDI, we'll disable master, just uncheck it. And this is port one, the first instance should be master and it should be the same port number so that they'll connect to each other. Uh, I'm also going to change the pitch band range to 12 because this is the default in uh, Odin. All right, um, so this is Odin. This is just the default uh, preset with uh, 12 pitch, range, pitch band range. Let's hear it. Great. Now uh, let's just change the preset to a nicer sound in Odin. Uh, like this filter LFO, which I like. Let's hear it. That's it. Uh, so uh, now you know how to use Dota MIDI in uh, FL Studio. Uh, it works exactly the same way on a Mac. This is a Windows machine, but it will work in a Mac as well. Using uh, KV Element, uh, which you can download and install separately. Uh, that's it. Uh, thank you.